Summer should have been all beer and skittles for West Coast as they basked in the glory of a premiership, but it's turned into a disaster. Court cases, player punch-ups, the Ben Cousins drug controversy have tarnished the entire football club. Now more drama tonight. No Dean Cox. There he is, the big fella. He's out. So is Andrew Emley, the Norm Smith medalist. Let's have a look at the teams as we welcome Anthony Hudson. Thank you, Quarters. Good evening, everyone. It is certainly an amazing build-up to this game. The excitement is still here, despite the fact that the West Coast Eagles won't have seven of their grand final players from last year. Of course, Ben Cousins is the big one, but Cox tonight, it's going to put so much pressure on all areas of the ground, particularly the forward line and in the ruck. Staker will have to hold down centre half forward with no Hanson. Lynch was the key to their forward line last year when they turned things around in the second half of the year. And CB, who actually did a good job, you remember, towards the end of last year when Cox was out, CB stepped up. So that is an area where perhaps the Eagles can still at least compete with the Swans. It's a similar area I've highlighted with the Swans who have three players who aren't playing from last year's grand final. So much more settled. Barry Hall and Darren Jolly have got points to prove after the grand final. Hall, no goals. Jolly smashed in the ruck by Cox. Of course, that's one of the reasons that Spider Everett is in the Swans lineup. It'll be interesting, fascinating, in fact, to see how big Spider goes. Well, this is one of those amazing runs in football. We can go back to 2001, the last 12 times it has been alternative victors. And you can see how close it's got over the last five encounters. 4-4-2-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Is it the Swans' turn tonight? And the grand final rematch is now underway as down she goes in the middle. First tap to Jolly. Dive, got to knock it out. <laughs> got him high. Yours, Brett Kirk. And Brett Kirk will get the first <laughs> kick of the match. Thanks, Daddy. That's what a smart. star he was in the grand final. Almost yeah, single-handedly got him over the line in the second it. half. Play on. Dishes off to the improving Malcheski. Out wide to Hall, and he gets an early touch. He plays on over the top to Fosdyke. Fosdyke goes for home. It's across the face. It's still in play. And CB goes safety first and knocks it over the line. For a point. Good ball movement. We've got Kirk on Kirk, Goods on Judd. There's some of the matchups in the midfield. Some big roles for that second level midfield tonight for the Eagles stepping up. Rowan Jones, who's an experienced player now, been there for 10 years. His hands was in his back. Hand was in his back. Yeah, we're going to get a bit of exasperation over that rule, but let's not worry about that early on tonight. As Jones takes the free, uses we punt that. All players now on the ground ahead of him. And that's typical Sydney. Once the opposition have got the ball, Sydney will load their back half. 18-year-old Mitch Brown into the team tonight from North Ballarat. Kicked 24 goals in 15 games last year. And again, it's loaded along that uh, forward 50. Hands to it from Hunter. Lightning start for the Eagles, an opportunity, Staker, one of seven players to come into this Eagles team from the grand final last year. And eventually Armstrong takes it over and out. Daniel Chick playing on Michael O'Loughlin, that's something that we've seen a lot of in recent years, that's because Chick's got the pace to go with him. And strength. Here's Chad, gets the clearance, kicks to the hot spot, Lynch. Oh, Richards with magnificent oh, cage. What about that with Big Lynch bearing down on you? And Lynch has hurt himself. I reckon Lynch has hurt his arm. But that's typical Sydney with Richards getting back in the hole to help out Leo Barry. Mm. He's in a bit of trouble, Lynch. He's coming off. Lynch is in trouble. He wants to come off. He's been told to start for the time being by the trainer. And Ted Richards, oh, dip your lid to him. There's a free kick, it's going West Coast way. And Bossy, if Lynch is hurt, can't do ruck work, even more responsibility on CB. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, played back along half back with Jones, who was terrific late last year, averaged about 17 possessions during the finals, linking up with Selwood. Now, can someone take a mark with Lynch not really there? He's there in body, but he can't actually do much about it. Judd, here's Brown. He's thrusting himself into the action early. Fosdyke gets a lot of possessions when he's out there, spends a lot of time on the bench. Down to Neil Cordy. Cords. <laughs> There's a, a match up there. He Brett looks Kirk. like he's in a bit of trouble. Brett Kirk running with Kerr. CB doing the ruck work again. And there's Staker trying to share it around. He was looking for a teammate. Couldn't find one, only Jolly. There's Eagles back there. Glass has wandered up. Buchanan oh, my is, and we're pounding, pouncing on him straight away. 
And everyone just getting used to the start of a new season. It's so loud. I can understand why Neil Cordy is having trouble hearing us. It is like a final out there. It is so loud. We could hardly hear ourselves think at the opener. We'll get to Neil Cordy in a moment. As the Swans force it inside 50. Oh, bang! Oh, and it gets a coat hanger from Judd! Oh! That's a statement. It'll be turned around now. Yeah. Yeah. And what a shame, what a shame the Sydney player retaliated on Judd. Oh, that was hot stuff. There's the coat hanger coming up from Judd, of all people. Captain and then Judd gets Captain. pulled down. <laughs> oh, Selwyn. <laughs> To the wing, and a good mark taken by Rowan Jones. He plays on straight away, tackled by Buchanan. Good handball though to Weir Punda. Weir Punda a sizzling little pass, and he finds Hunter. Lynch is still out there. It is amazing. You'll see him now coming to your screen. So he's either fixed himself remarkably, or he's just battling on in, in pain. He certainly wanted to come off, and he was told to stay on. 65 goals last year for Lynch. There's Chris Judd. If the Eagles could win this tonight, he and Kerr are going to have to do a power of work. Now this is big Quinton Lynch. It was a big part of the turnaround for the Eagles last year. Kicked 44 of those goals, I think, in the last 13 matches. So the Eagles forward line started the function when Quinton Lynch began to really turn it on. And he started in emphatic style tonight. Well, it's just great. Cordy, you're with us. Go, Vossi. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some great clashes already. Captain on captain, deep in the forward line. It's just great start, as you'd expect. This is Canelli. Gets it off to Malcheski. He takes it through the corridor. Over to Richards. A long, penetrating kick. All one out. Oh, great mark. He wants to go, Barry Hall. He played on. He got caught. Umpire let it go. Swan still in possession. Picked up by Kirk. Out wide. O'Loughlin will get there first. Chick though. Good pace. Well done by the veteran. Won it back yeah. for West Coast and sweeps the handball over to Braun. Braun to the wing and that is a good strong mark taken by the first gamer in Mitch Brown. He's looking good isn't yeah. he Mitch Brown? Strong boy. For an 18 year old looks like he belongs. Kerr loves to handball. Had more than kicks last year and they share it around again. Now Lynch lends a hand. Lends a glove and kicks it up towards the forward line. Hunter again, was there a free? There was, chopping of the arms. Chop, 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 can't do that, Gorsi. It was a good lead and it was a fantastic kick by Big Quinton Lynch. And they set this move up really well, did uh, the West Coast Eagles. Hunter on the lead, Vossi, is going to be very hard to cover. And you can see there, Craig Bolton grabbed hold of his arm, definite free kick. It's a weapon up your sleeve, having Hunter to be able to go forward and back for you. It gives you great flexibility as a side. You can see what he did in last year's grand final series. We know that goals are a premium when these two sides meet. There was 24 goals in the grand final last year. The Eagles have got two. That is very, very valuable. Still West Coast are going to have to control their emotions. We knew they were probably going to come out, going to come out fired up. This period of the game is going to be important for them to be able to control their emotions so they can take it right throughout the whole game. Now can Big Spider conjure something here? No, he can't. As Graham at the back was third man up. Good hip and shoulder by Kerr and O'Keefe. Intercepted by Buchanan, who finds some space. And Buchanan hits the woodwork. Great lateral mu movement by Buchanan. Just weaved his way through the contest and nearly jagged a goal. Selwood, one of three, of course, now playing in the AFL. Not a great kick, and it really window of opportunity there for Leo Barry. Swinging it in for Jared McVeigh. Looking to go inboard every time, Sydney. Now they have to work it back out. Now Chesky's got away here. He's got some help in board if he wants to go with it. He doesn't. Set tries to hit up a task, and that was always tough. O'Keefe was the aim, but Lynch gets his big body in the way. And Wipunda again kicks it out of bounds on the floor. His second so far, so finding the mark's been a bit of a problem so far. 
The Eagles have got the jump though. The Eagles have got numbers back. This is where Sydney's dangerous. They just very patient for the short pass. There it goes. Hard working as always. Ryan O'Keefe coming up another splendid year. Lost sort of congestion down there. A lot in the middle of it. Now is there a Jamie whistle? Brown! Michael against you. Mark's here. Think okay, against the lock. So free kick to Graham on the last line of defence to Weir Punder. I don't think he'll make a mistake this time. Barry Hall is like a man possessed. Every time he's been in the action, he's made something exciting happen. There he is, gets caught around the neck. Beats the, the one on one there against Glass. Playing on, gets caught. But he's been terrific, Hall. Good, swabbles one inside 50. It's a good pass. And Nick Davis is one of the best kicks in the business. Will go back from about 40 metres out directly in front. Last year's grand final, we saw Adam Hunter start on Barry Hall for about the first eight or nine minutes, yep. and then he pushed forward. Glass, obviously, I think Glass has got the job for the night. Well, he did the job, didn't he, for the rest of the grand final. Barry Hall didn't kick a goal. I was talk talking to Nick's uh, father before the game, Craig. He said he's just about the fittest he's ever been. And old Buffer looks all right himself. It's a goal. So it's the Eagles by four points. Neil Cordy, are you with us? I think I've got you this time, Cordes, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's the, cr the crowd down there is amazing. The noise is deafening. It, it is. It's fantastic. Uh, Quentin Lynch uh, hurt his right wrist in that clash with Ted Richards. But uh, amazing what a difference a, a goal can do to your uh, injuries. West Coast Eagles without Dean Cox. They started with CB and now it's Quinton Lynch's turn to take a, a, a crack at the ruck. With a sore wrist. This is Phillips. We saw him briefly last year. The young man. Smallest man on the ground. Number 47 whipping in amongst it. Kirk, where he always is. In the thick of all the action. Judd it was that got some sort of hands to it, but I think we're going nowhere right, here, boys. Bossy, do you like this sort of thing? That wouldn't have happened five or ten years ago when you were playing, where the ball just was, the umpire wouldn't uh, say, give it to me, I'll bounce it down. He lets it keep going. Which is good, and that's what you want. You want the ball to be a flow, give it every single chance to be able to come out, and more often than not, it does pop out. Pops out now. Applet, good sharing. O'Keefe, and Lachlan's away, this battle continues. Pops to one of how many points? Six. Fantastic goal by Lachlan. Used his body to perfection. Got tipped on the outside of him. The ball landed inside. Kept his feet. That's strength. That is strength. And then has the nous to be able to balance himself and snap a goal. That is brilliant work by Michael O'Loughlin. Michael O'Loughlin. That is a high-class goal in high definition. <laughs> well, it's winning a one-on-one -on -one contest, isn't it? And uh, Michael Voss summed it up to perfection. Just swiveled the hips, put the body into Daniel Chick, knocked him offline, was able to trap the footy, and then had the composure not to rush the kick. Lynch got the tap. Coming through hard, there was Prittis. Socket off the ground in the end by Staker. Canelli. There's Rowan Jones. Did well again. Quick tackle on Rosa. Umpire will be forced to bounce. Well, this will be interesting quarters because Quentin Lynch, after doing the ruck work, has now gone into the forward line. Craig Bolton's his opponent. So let's see who does the ruck work for uh, the Staker. Eagles in this situation. Looks like Staker. And not surprisingly, Jolly won it comfortably. Couldn't find a teammate. Now, they really should excel here, the uh, the Sydney Ruckman. Jolly, number 16, you can see he's so much bigger than his opponent. But he gets beaten. <laughs> there goes that theory. How often, <laughs> how often does that happen, though? <laughs> well, let's see how he goes here. We we'll get to see how important Ruckman are, Wolsey. No, Ruckman are important. Did you see Matthew Clark last yeah. night? Don't mention it to Grant Thomas, though. Picked up by the uh, West Coast Eagles, Ruckman in Staker, the makeshift Ruckman. Gets it to Prittis. 
Puts it inside, 50 for West Coast again. Richards back with a fly to the ball. Barry lost a handle on it. Here's a chance for Big Lynch. It's got to beat about three. Clever tap over to Braun. Braun's got a double back. Gets boot to ball and kicks. An absolute ripper. There was some key contests there. Lynch went to ground, went for the second effort, follows up his ball. It was fantastic, fumbled the ball, but then tapped it on, that was the key. Then Braun kept his feet and snapped the goal. Almost similar to our Lachlan at the other end, where he's managed to keep his feet in the contest. Well, you cannot afford to fumble in this game, and Leo Barry did, and the ball bobbled out. West Coast took advantage, kept it alive, got the goal. Pass the tap. Jolly enjoying himself with the extra centimetres there, gets the tap. Oh, good That's Chris okay, stand up with now. the hairdo. Good tackling. Prolific and winner in the world. Leo water. Barry, 21, fumbles the footy, and they keep it alive, West Coast. Cost them dearly, Sydney. Good tap on by Lynch, kept the ball alive. Jolly first hand, Stingline first possession, sort of. Bolton, Melcheski. All involved. It's a bit more of a free-flowing game than we're used to between these two sides. Do you think that has to do with the Stars being out, so the Swans maybe not quite as clamping down as they normally would? I reckon you're right, Hutto. The other thing is we're not having extra men in defence. Neither team is, is loading their back line at the moment. Adam Goods. Barry Hall is covering the, the metres at the moment. Goods always does. Buchanan trying to let the traffic go past. It didn't want to go past. Ablett lends a hand. Out to Teddy Richards. What a grand final he had. It was almost a real fairy tale. They just weren't able to get across the line. Fosdyke. Eagles have now got an extra man back, at least for this foray into attack for the Swans. Brett Jones sees it over safely. It was well done by the Selwood there. He let his man drift up into the contest and he dropped back. Slick hands, Barry Hall. Very slick, as you'd expect from Hall. Now, whistle. Arms high, thank you, Darren, on the full doing. Johnny, good there. giving away the free kick there, was he? To Staker. Judd's come off for a rest. Kerr's come back on. This is Rosa, he impressed so much last year when he got his chance. And Mitch Brown certainly is impressed. Took up a fair divot too. He's a well. very big boy, isn't he, for yeah. 18? Thumps it towards centre half. It was a low flying ball and a good one for Jamie Graham to accept. Another hard luck story late last year. Lynch didn't get there, but Hunter did. Somehow plucked the mark. And the Eagles have a chance as we head towards quarter time to open up that handy 10 point lead again. Well, Adam Hunter is as brave as they come anywhere on the ground, but particularly in the forward line, because he doesn't care who's around or what danger he might be in, he will keep his eyes fixed on the footy at every opportunity, and is a pretty accurate shot for goal. Normally that means that you stitch him up, but he's kicked the goal despite that. And they're nodding their head in the Eagles box, and well they might, given the scoreline. The captain of West Coast, Chris Judd having a breather. Adam Goods goes into the goal square for a breather. It's an important thing to add to his game, Adam Goods, to be able to go forward and kick a couple of goals, really add something to his game and become much more of a weapon for this Sydney side. Buchanan over to Kirk, who bonds it long. Hall's got the set. Hall flies, no mark. Oh, look at that for a pickup. Swooping as we have under. Puts it out to halfback. Stend line gets mowed down by O'Loughlin. Hearns handballs intercepted by Ablett. Ablett's got O'Loughlin out wide. Little twist, little turn, little pass, and finds Hall. He is an absolute gun, Michael O'Loughlin. He just came onto the ground. They took Peter Everett off. O'Loughlin came in from the wing at the interchange, had a couple of touches, and then a quality finish to Big Barry. Awareness of what was around him, and then the little chip ball. 
Don't see him hunting the ball here. And Go. then just the awareness, just that little deft tap kick. Hall's kick. Here's a goal. His first for the night. So Barry Hall is up to 496 career goals. And that was beautifully set up by Michael O'Loughlin. He's all class. Barry Hall having plenty of uh, stats next to his name already. Five disposals, three marks. Barry Hall, he's on. He is absolutely red hot. He loves playing here at Telstra Stadium. At Telstra Stadium, he averages 10 marks a game and four goals. He's on track. Seavey's back on, and Dolly enjoying going against the taller Ruckman. Got the tap down, got the clearance through Bolton. Now Fosdark, he is on Hall. Look at that, his judgment. Spot on, and he's happy to get some contact. Not off, not off. And now he can go back and have a shot. The way he kicked that goal only 90 seconds ago, he did it with ease. I don't think the distance will worry him here either. Gee, I, I reckon he's had a pretty long summer, Bossy, yeah. where that grand final has really sat deep in the valley, and this is his chance to atone. Yeah, would have had to have been the boxing bag. Kicks, <laughs> kicks 78 goals last year. And the distance maybe just made him work a little bit hard there on the accuracy. The margin is three points. Opening quarter certainly hasn't let us down. With Punda, who brought it back into play, has been very busy with seven. Oh, it was a blaze. It was. Chicks turned it over badly. It's marked by Bolton. He kicks to set a half forward where there's a couple of swans free. Buchanan gets back onto the trusty left. He runs to the 50. Now he's forced to handball. McVay, good tackle. Holding the ball. Swans took too advantage. long. Now Prittis is away. Long raking left foot kick to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Backing himself was Richards. Leo Barry's there. He's tackled by Jones but got driven into the ground and gets the free kick. Good courage by Richards to attack that bouncing ball. He was prepared to leave his opponent. Had it gone over his head, he would have looked silly, but he was prepared to go hard at it. Fortune favours the brave. Matthews. Eagles have got the numbers here. I've heard that a few times, Wolsey. <laughs> <laughs> what about let boldness be my friend? <laughs> There's a few. Any other bizarre cliches you can let us in on Vossi? <laughs> oh, Will, as the year unfolds, I'm sure I know. <laughs> Everett against CB. Everett got the free kick, I reckon. Yep. So, big spider. He's got to watch that left arm, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Three times an All-Australian, twice the best and fairest winner. Now playing... <laughs> in the Harbour City, and his kick finds Malczewski, oh, he's called to play on, just gets the kick away, deep into the Swans attacking 50, Goods was unhappy with something, he was just calling for the ball, he was there for a while, he wanted the one-on-one -on -one contest, he was mismatched with Armstrong, and he wanted in there a bit quicker. Uh, Ruckman come from a fair way back here, lots of numbers away to the right of this, and in the back, so... Hands in the back, then contest, four Doesn't matter, put him out of the contest, two actions. Ah, uh, two actions. Big spider. Who he milked it beautifully, didn't he? No Looks stranger to kicking goals. Kicked 366 of them over the journey. Looks pretty fit, spider. Big fella, looks lean. Gee, there wasn't a lot in that. He's got a case, hasn't he, CB? He might have had a case, but Spider Everett... He's got a shot at goal, and he's let himself down. Two points to the margin, though. Three minutes gone, or three minutes to go in this opening quarter. And as Anthony Hudson said, it has not disappointed the grand final rematch. Magnificent crowd, fantastic night here in Sydney. Will we have another heart stopper? <laughs> 12 points have separated these teams in the last five matches. Selwood. Not a lot to go to, so carries and now kicks. It's a good option. Well done by Selwood and Seavey. Takes a strong mark, about 65 from goal. And gets to 50, and now will shoot from point blank range. The 50 metre penalty against Peter Everett. Well, I thought Spider might have been penalised for his first effort when he came in a bit late. 
but he just con continued to manhandle his opponent. He's a little bit late there. And he's holding on. He's holding on. As soon as there was a pull on the jumper, the umpire was uh, committed to give the 50 metre penalty. Will he do a Shannon Grant? No, he won't. He puts it through. Good evening to Shannon if he's watching. <laughs> he just stays on him too long. And you can't do that. They're hot on it. We know they are. That, that was the grab. He had his arms around him just late. The umpire saw it. It's 50 metres every day. Fair and that enough, was probably yeah. a genuine 50 metres. Yep. <laughs> you won't get an argument from anyone up here, I don't think. Darren Jolly ready to re-enter the fray. And just on Mark Seavey, that last goal kicker, Wolsey, he really did lift last year when Cox was out. Remember, he was out for the mid-second uh, half of the year, and, and CB really lifted and carried the ruck load for the Eagles. So, oh, he can do it, and Judd can do just about anything. And that one, except make it bounce well for his teammate. He couldn't do much about that. Richards and now Matthews. I think the advantage of CB is that he's not bad in the ruck contest, but he's better around the ground because he's got pretty good mobility, yep. and he can mark and he can kick it pretty well for a big man. And we just saw Judd there. I mean... Get out of my way. I'm going that way. way. That's what he did. I mean, that's just willing the tackle, not wanting to, wanting to be tackled. And he got out of it and cleared the ball. Fifth possession for Kerr is a good one. This is Hearn. He's got a very promising future. And that is a very, very good kick. What about the kick from Kerr? And he's drilled that. He's drilled that from about 55 metres, Hearn. Well, they have got big wraps on Shannon Hearn. I think he's played uh, That's great vision just a handful Kurt. of games, just six games, in fact. Bang. Got what, about, what about the kick from Kurt? Oh, yeah, I mean, the setup. Don't break stride. Lace out. Thank you. Paul Roos will be disappointed with his ruckman. Everett gave away the 50 metre penalty and Jolly gave away the free kick on the wing which in turn meant it was handball to Kerr who set Hearn up. West Coast by 14 points, Judd on the bottom of it. Leading stat getters in the game for Sydney, Kirk 7, 6 to Fosdyke, Hall and Buchanan while for the Eagles, 7 to Weir Punda, 7 to Selwood and Judd has got 6. You can't throw him out of the contest, Sydney! Throw him out. So this time the free kick's going Sydney's way to be taken by Jolly. Over to Buchanan, who's been busy. Looks for Vogels, no mark. Phillips is underneath it, so is Kerr. Good tackle by Kirk. Same thing he's before, given away the same thing to Leo Barry for. Same thing, riding him in the ground. Play on. So Kerr's away. Another wonderful kick and Waters oh. stood up. Gutsy stuff. Courage going back. Well done, Bud Waters. Kicking skills oh, of West Coast. Coast. Kicking skills of West Coast are excellent. It's impeccable passing at the moment as Lynch kicks to the hot spot. Big pack fly. Staying down was Barry. Great tackle by Staker. No chance. He had no chance. No, yeah, it's been 18 no free kicks in the first quarter. Umpires <laughs> have been busy, haven't they? <laughs> Which you expect for round one when they're a little bit sloppy at the moment with the players just feeling their way through the game. No, he didn't. Trying, trying to get onto it there, he just oh, couldn't no. quite. That, that last ruck contest, you Daniel Kerr it. ran past at 100 mile per hour. Brett Kirk on his tail. Let's have a look at the two of them here. Kirk with touch on his opponent. Again, huge numbers around the ball. And there was Kerr trying to get the jump shot there. <laughs> get it onto, <laughs> onto his boot. The alley oop. Shannon hurt the hand. Dragged down straight away. Umpire again lets it go for as long as he can. He hasn't got it. Just shows the depth of the Eagles list. I know it's only the first quarter, but the, well, the kids not, that have stepped up, they look like they belong, don't they? Not only that, Hutto, they have got the fifth youngest list in the AFL, the Eagles. That's a free kick to stand on. on yours. It was amazing. Thank you. Athlete just dragged him down. I don't know whether he played, played it up or not, but... The other thing, Robert, they're young kids. They're not built like kids. No, they're not, are they? Sorry. 
You can say that, Wolsey. <laughs> well, no, they, they are strong. They are well tutored. They are well grounded. They don't get a game easy, the young blokes in the West. Well, oh, that's, that's unlucky because he's given it to Hearn, who we know can kick it a long way. I think he must have thought he was still in the Nat Cup there for, oh. for the nine points. But... Well, it's on in the pocket. It's side of the pocket, yep. Yeah. Hunter's in there. The umpire comes in quickly to break things up. So what did you make of that, gentlemen? Well, the West Coast kicking skills, terrific. Made the most of their opportunities when they took it forward. They kicked six goals straight in the ruck. Without Cox, they are certainly hanging in there against Everett and Jolly. Everett and Jolly frustrated, giving away free kicks. Barry Hall's the danger man. Every time the ball goes near Barry, he looks fantastic. Grand final rematch as the West Coast is leading the Swans. In the second quarter, it's the Eagles by 14 points. And it's Everett starting this time for the Swans, and he got the nod over CB Kerr was there to pounce and pounce. He did. Braun didn't get the kind bounce that he needed. And this fierce tackling continues. Jones, it was in there. Richards, Goods lends a hand. O'Keefe, see the eyes were wide. Had to go backwards. Canelli, Malcheski, one on one's ahead of him. He has got a loose man in the middle. And it's Buchanan with the spectacular there. Goods again working hard at half forward. He covers so much ground. Kerr can't stop him. Wheels around. He sees a couple of big targets down there. One of them Barry Hall, but it wasn't a great kick. And Glass had to drop that time. Linking up with the impressive Waters and Selwood. Again, had to retreat, but Glass had peeled off to try and help out. Selwood. He's got Staker digging deep. Great kick. And they really needed the precision there, didn't they? Because the Swans were being very accountable, as they always are. 36 the Eagles, 22 the Swans. Very early stages of this second term. And the Swans haven't kicked a goal now for more than 10 minutes. As the ball's put to the wing. There's young Mitch Brown playing his first game. His uh, twin brother Nathan, by the way, has been drafted by Collingwood. David Wirrapunda with eight disposals, playing extremely well. Little Simon Phillips, given that he uh, tagged him. all around job him. On him. You're restricting his arm movement by having your arms around well, him. This this ball ups is becoming a joke with the umpiring. It's just it's a, it's a lottery, really, isn't it? At the moment, either way. Yeah, well, either Ruckman's getting pinged yep. just about at every ball up, aren't they? Thanks, Barry. That's in there. Thank Daniel you. Chick with the hair a bit darker this year. To Waters. Looks for Judd, one-on-one -on -one with McVeigh. Oh, Judd, one out. He's hemmed in the pocket. Judd, a left foot kick across the face. Oh. <laughs> He's just a freak, isn't he? Explosive. <laughs> That's a better result in today's football. Rather than kicking a point and the quick rebound, getting it deep in the forward line where they can get a, still get a chance to score. Great tap by CB. Here's Judd again. He got tackled and he didn't have it. Free kick. And that's exactly what Michael Voss was saying. It just gives you another chance to get a goal. McVeigh, obviously, very conscious about his opponent. Infringing there. Let's have a look at it. Touch on him. Come around, please. Over the shoulder. He's just not watching the ball. Into the back here. Yeah, he's, he's mesmerised by uh, the best player in the game. So Chris Judd. No problems there. Eagles extend their lead. He's had a direct influence on the game already, Chris Judd. Not just in kicks or handballs, but also by presence. He's gone out there wanting to make a statement to his team in the first quarter, and he's doing it, and he's leading from the front as you expect him to do. Dean Cox, one of seven Eagles who played in last year's grand final, not out there tonight. Of course, Banfield has retired, but the rest are all injured. And uh, what a job they are doing. They've silenced the crowd here, and that's important when you come to a, a massive cauldron like this. And they're going again through Kirk. Kirk was sloppy oh, too advantage. high. Advantage. Taking it is Braun. They mean business, the Eagles. Good positioning from Hunter. 
Bolton was clever, but it's still very, very dangerous. Jones, sweeping kick will come from Stengelheim. Fosdijk tries to turn the fortunes around. Everett just could do nothing there. The more they work Everett over, though, the better. Mm. Physically, punish him. Sap his strength. Make sure he can't get off the ground. Swans need a lift. Everett, some good ruck work. O'Keefe. Bolton being quiet so far. Waters with the spoil. Buchanan. We are going to see plenty of this all night. We already have. Really is eerily quiet here now compared to what we had earlier on. I think everybody's stunned, to be honest. I mean, West Coast, we of course know are a fantastic team. But I think even the locals thought that the Swannies would have a bit more of an easier go at it than what they have already. Particularly with no Cox and no Embley. They were late withdrawals. And there's a lead from Hall. Glass hot on his hammer. O'Keefe's got it. Decides on the short option. Very patient with their build-ups. Eagles dropping Selwood back in front of Barry Hall. A two-on-one situation. Well, it's been close to 15 minutes now since Sydney have kicked a goal. And they just need to steady the ship. The margin's 20. Leo Barry again, the touch of the fumbles. He's being corralled by three Eagles. Nowhere to go, so he chips sideways to Canelli. Now he's trying to find an eagle in the haystack here because there's just eagles flooding back everywhere. He kicks to the obvious in Hall, who kept his feet. 36 players in one half of the ground. Did they do that back in your day, Vossi? <laughs> no, the forge is to find a bit more space than that. Everett and CB again contest. Selwood. It's no doubt the reason why we don't see 100 goal kickers as, as much as what we used to. You actually dropped in yes, these we don't first. have the Lockets and Dunstalls and Ablets and those sort of characters, but the fact that we're getting numbers back in the defensive half makes it enormously hard to score. And we see it a lot, particularly in the first half of the season. Well, the players are still fit. There's Glass again. He's played a much better second quarter. Do his confidence good, Glass, beating Hall in a one-on-one. -on -one. Kirk just trying to hang on to it while the congestion clears so they can get some time and space. Forced to go backwards, Glass almost was going to have to give up a point there, but in the end, Waters was the chop out. This is still dangerous, but it's okay. I think Sawyer just hurt himself for a moment, but he's okay. So, seven goals, the Eagles, seven straight to 3 4 Sydney, and they've turned it over there. Sawyer then kicked the ball on his back when he was going back. As a re result, he wasn't steadied and made a mistake. So Sibby gets the tap to Judd. Handles out to Braun. Brilliantly done. Braun handles into open territory. Oh, attacking it was uh, Brown. They're running. Now Judd to Lynch. Free kick. No. Play on. Here's Judd again. Game tackle. Back to Lynch. Lynch hit over the ball. Gathers now. Little left foot kick. Now Rowan Jones. McVeigh tackled by Judd. Great third effort by Chris Judd. Great football from both teams. You summed that up beautifully. Quarters. Third effort by Judd. On the wing. Runs down. Two or three possessions. And then lays this tackle at the end of it. They are a mighty, mighty team, aren't they, at the moment, the Eagles, the way they are playing. From the first gamer to some of their absolute superstars, they are 100% committed. Swans are sloppy at best at the moment. Opportunities are presenting themselves, and Staker it is this time that joins the queue with a goal. Stating the obvious, but they're obviously out, out playing Sydney at the moment. They are pressure, putting so much pressure on Sydney at the moment, and they're reactive. They have Sydney reacting to the situation, and West Coast are being proactive, and as a result, they're getting the score on the board. Gee, should have been a free kick to Joe. Doesn't matter. They got the goal anyway. David Weir, punter, ready to come back on. The Eagles now lead by 26. Sydney has not kicked a goal for 18 minutes as Peter Everett 
watches from the sideline. And there's Staker on the wing there. He's coming off the wing and he's going to Goods, which is an unusual matchup, you'd say, but he's obviously got the endurance to go with Goods. Only had 14 entries into their forward 50, the Eagles, and from the 14 entries, eight goals straight. And Staker follows Goods out of the screen. Jolly the tap. O'Keefe driven into the ground, free kick. They need a spark, was he Sydney, don't they, from somewhere? Yeah, and the Eagles have got an extra one back in their defensive 50. Jolly. Over to Kirk. Ablett. Two Eagles stay down. Consequently, Stengline handball to Rowan Jones. Oh, good running back with a flight. Now Richards. Good tackle by Joe. We'll have a throw in. This is a great game of football. Ablett's it's hurt his teammate here Buchanan. in this marking contest. Is it Buchanan? Buchanan's gone down. You can oh. see the blood. He's blood a mess. Rule. So the game will be stopped here. As Eamon Buchanan with blood streaming from the mouth. Let's hope that's all it is, a cut and not a, a broken jaw. Quarters, that happened right in front of me and that looks very, very nasty. A potential, uh, it looks like a potential broken jaw there. Oh, very nasty. Well, they just fling their bodies around, don't they, the players these days. Look at that, that is just toughness personified as Buchanan walks from the ground for treatment. Jones, Brett Jones, O'Keefe. Trying to dig deep, there's Bolton, escaping the touches from Waters, looks up by Auckland's darted here, he's got away, but it's not a good kick, Hall has to go, Stengelheim committed, there's O'Loughlin, shoveling it out, McVeigh trying to find a way, but things just aren't happening for the Swans. Well McVeigh has found himself forward, because there's been a change on Judd. Goods did go to him earlier, but Staker is being persistent and staying with him at the moment. Be interesting to watch how that unfolds. Braun de Kerr. Daniel Kerr, who had an incredible 16 bounces in the grand final. Mm. And in the end, the ball falls in the arms of Bo Waters. Who finished off season 2006 in fine style. Their kicking skills are just sensational. Round one, they are hitting targets at will. So Mitch Brown. There's Chris Jones. Is everyone taking a breather at the moment? Mm. McCrae's come onto the ground up the bench and he's just hiding away at the half forward flank <laughs> on the opposite side to where there he is there. Hasn't got an opponent. He's in the forward line yeah. for the Eagles. He's playing a loose man in the forward line. Teddy wasn't? Richards <laughs> has woken up. He's running back to cover him. Fosdyke and Jones. Prittis. They still haven't found an opponent for him though. Sydney is screaming out as much as they can to get someone back to him. And now... The locals are so the dispirited, they've started the wave here at uh, Telstra Stadium. So, they need to see some action out on the ground. This man's been very good even. Oh, you've got to watch out, he needed the side mirror, the peripheral vision there. This is Vogels presenting. O'Loughlin's back in the square, one-on-one -on -one with Chick. He'll go to him. Can O'Loughlin come over three Eagles? He might get a free. No, he doesn't. Sweeping up Kerr, another one of those wonderful handballs. Braun. Barry Hall has just flattened Kerr. Kerr's got upset. You're going to have to do better than that. Braun goes to the wing. Ablett just able to hug it in. The Eagles by 25. It's still early. We're not even at halfway into this second turn. And Daniel Kerr gave Barry Hall a godful. He wasn't taking a back no. step. It was a beauty, wasn't it? They are a bit rattled, Sydney. Yeah. Will Barry keep his composure? As Ooh. Kirk gets a poor kick. And the mark's taken by Braun. Many times we've seen Eagles players running back with the flight of the ball to help their defenders against Hall and O'Rockland. It's been super stuff. Waters handles over to Braun. 
And a good mark taken by Mitch Brown again in his first game of footy. But what, doing well. what about the quality of the Braun kick? Fist came from Canelli. Matthews back to the run of Canelli. Trying to inspire his team, Richards. Matthews caught high, that's a free kick against the crowd. He copped a good knee in the side there. Accidentally, of course. Well, all coaches, Robert and Michael, like to have the us against them, and it's very much at the moment after what's happened the last few weeks. West Coast Eagles is us against them, isn't it? Oh, and it's it. just Cheltenham tonight. It can They're bring groups against. together. It can do that. Adversity can, can do that at times. Long way to go in this match. Only the halfway mark of the second turn, and Barry Hall's got it. Short to Ablett. Just the 15 metres. Could be another short one too. That's what they'll be looking at. They'll that, be patient. They haven't got a real path to goal though, Rob, have they? The way the Eagles have just got numbers back. Oh, the Eagle, Eagles have been really good. They, they are just pushing back all the time. And, and their midfield players like Judd and Selwood and Kerr have been covering enormous ground in the back half. So Ablett is a long way from home. He's got no choice really but need to have a shot at goal. Oh! But it's just a point, but Jolly absolutely flew into the clouds. <laughs> he should go for the blood rule. That was a nosebleed. <laughs> Have a look how high he went up. Pity he didn't bring it down for the Swans. Rosa. Lacra. The time misses the target. It wasn't so easy there to find a way through. Canelli off half back for the Swans. Tucks it under the arm, trying to get the switch going out wide. Oh, Ablett a fumble. Let's Lynch in, and Lynch with superior strength. Takes the ball now, he's playing tricks as well, Quinton Lynch. This will be some goal if it was online, and it wasn't. Well, he had no one in front of him. <laughs> he took on his opponent. There's a fumble by Ablett. That's why he can't fumble in AFL football, as we know. And Lynch had the long bomb and just missed. Barry Hall on a fast lead. Butters up well. Cricks the teeth. Threw it in the end. More of an accident than anything else. Ablett got it to Craig Bolton. Nowhere to go. The Eagles have closed this down beautifully at the moment. Well, what, what does Sydney have to do, Rob? Oh, lots of good mark. It's, it's a good question, Hutto, because at the moment they are frustrated, there's no flow, and the Eagles are just getting numbers back. They've got to just chip it around this 50-metre arc until they can find someone who can take a mark and kick a goal from about 50, 55 metres out. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, they've perhaps got to slow the game down a little bit, Rob. The game's going at the Eagles' pace, which is exactly what they're after. They may just have to be able to play that tempo football a little bit better and chip it around for a little while. And it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because they haven't kicked a goal this quarter, Sydney. And we're well and truly into it. And uh, they don't look like getting one. Barry Hall is spending more time near the wing than he is the goal square. And he's their leading goal kicker. He's their main target. They're not getting any run, really. They're trying here to just generate some run. And carry and handball but it's pretty barren for the moment. Lachlan they really rely on their forwards to try and take spectacular marks against the odds and the odds are prevailing at the moment well as we said earlier they're trailing their opponents at the moment they're not initiating anything and as a result they're waiting for somebody else to do something bit of niggle off the ball between Judd and Goods and Staker's third man in Armstrong cleared it away, so they have a shot with a ball into their forward line from O'Keefe from about 65 out. Again, though, the numbers back there are just extraordinary. Tristan Goods trying to tag Judd and Stakers trying to tag Goods. Peter Everett. And that's well played. He's got away from Seavey. Now he's just got to kick it from there, certainly within his distance. Spent some time at full forward, of course, back in his St Kilda day. Started one of the seasons with a, a leading goal kicker at about the halfway stage. So when he's on, he can kick goals. When he's off, 
as he is there, and all looks pretty ordinary. They are pretty much listless at the moment, the Swans. Where Punda brings it back in. Now Prittis. Good pass. Stengli looked to get it going quickly, but just lost the handle on it. So Stengli kicks to a contest. See if he went up one-handed. Richards all wrapped up by the big Q. Just the 24 handballs to Sydney yeah, in the first half, and uh, yeah, there's not much run and carry. CB, great tap. Rowan Jones puts it inside 50. Richards getting back, can't mark. Craig Bolton ran to his teammate in Barry. Quick handball came out to Jones. Good tackle on him. Umpire should pay a free kick and does. Threw it up one hand, it was one hand. It's a good point about the handball, Walsy. We look back on the second half of last year and the Eagles just started handballing crazy, didn't they? But well, sensibly. Eagles handballed a lot in the first half too, Hutto, and they uh, they just took plenty of risks to get it into their forward line quickly. But Sydney, with just the 24 handballs, that is an extremely low total for a half a game of football. One of the strengths of West Coast is their ability to be able to handball, run and spread from a contest. And Sydney haven't been able to curb that quite yet, which they've been fantastic against other sides of doing. Kirk goes inboard to Canelli. He'll bang it long. Everett's there, running back with a fight of the ball. No mark. O'Keefe just throws it onto the boot. Curls it back, but not enough. It's the second time this half that Canelli's just got the ball and bombed it into the forward line. And I would think Paul Ruse would be saying, you've got to do better than that. Here's some news on Eamon Buchanan from Neil Cordy. As there's another blood rule at the moment as I think it's Staker being set off. Neil. Yeah, Eamon's had about half a dozen stitches internally in his mouth. He's about to come straight back on. He's a tough nut. Well, that's good news that he hasn't got a broken jaw. But he copped the knee right on the point of the chin. He is tough. The other thing Sydney are lacking really is, is, uh, is crumbing forward. Snyder's out of the team. They don't really have, I know Simon Phillips is in the team to be a crumbing forward, but only a young player. Set up the huddle, West Coast. Breaking into space, we're a punder, just checking his options out. Why does he give us one of those old torps, Rob? Hey, there you oh. go. He was out of the, oh, he, did, he must have kicked to himself, did he? Because yeah, he did. He, he did yeah. wander out of the square. He gave us one on cue anyway, Rob, which we always like to see, and he found a man. We like to see a big torp. I tell you what, Peter Everett's struggling a little bit with the run. Lacroix back to CB. Spike that left foot kick beautifully for Lynch. It's pretty open. This is the thing on the counter-attack. The Eagles are going to work in space. Lynch somehow was able to lead a merry dance there, and a big opportunity for Chick. Did he get one in the back? It looked like it from here. Richards, Buchanan. Has to be steadfast here, the Swans. Bolton, Kirk. Nowhere to go, so he had the handball and just hold on until he did. And Buchanan having to go back through the maze. Now they're running. Bolton uses Canelli. This is what they're going to do. They're going to get in the hands of blokes like Canelli and run through the middle and try and share it around. Jolly gives it off. Buchanan, a better build up. Still, there's plenty of Eagles back though, and by the time the kick came in, the Swans weren't even looking. Sloppy kick. Jones over to Glass, over to Waters. But they've just closed things up beautifully in their defensive 50 West Coast. And look at that again, another magnificent kick to position. Lynch, bang, big kick, one on one situation. Beautifully done, West Coast. Daniel Chick in front of Leo Barry. Leo. The old fashioned long bomb Robert has paid, we think, handsome dividends if Chick can kick it. Well, Quinton Lynch just wasn't picked up by Teddy Richards. Quinton Lynch stayed out on the outer wing. The ball came around to him. You can see he's gasping for breath there. And Chick, who's been playing on O'Loughlin, has been moved into the forward line in the last five minutes. And, of course, he's always lively. This to extend their already healthy lead. Chick never looked like missing. Eagles in control as we near halftime. 
It's a real luxury to be able to have two defenders who can go forward, pinch it, kick you a couple of goals, Hunter and Chick. They both add something different to that forward line structure and the defensive area of the ground. You just know Sydney are going to come back, well. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe this is the night where we have a blowout. I think we're all stunned here, aren't we, by this performance by the West Coast Eagles. You've got to really take your hat off to them. It's been amazing, but the Swans, as we said before, listless, trying to generate something in this last couple of minutes to give themselves some spirit and some spark to go into the second half, but it's all West Coast again. Hearn's been impressive. Stengline, they're lining up through the middle. Selwood, back for Armstrong. Love a turn in the midfield. Gets his man too. It's Brown. Now Judd. It is all one way at the moment. And it's all the Eagles. That was like a training drill. You've just got to love Mitchell Brown. Takes the mark, immediately plays on, backs himself. The bounce doesn't come off, doesn't matter. He's got running support from Judd. And of course, you'd give it to him, and he just doesn't miss. Well, John Worsfold likes what he sees, and why not? Because the Eagles' advantage now is out to 35 points. Chris Judd's got his second, the first gamer, Mitchell Brown again, having a say in proceedings. And into attack again, go West Coast. And there is the youngster, only 18 years of age. What a debut. Kicks a high ball. Selwood's getting there. Pack fly off hands. Well, Hunter's just come on. He's gone into the forward line. Daniel Chick, who, uh, who kicked the goal just minutes ago, he's now swung to the opposite end of the ground and is taking O'Loughlin. And there's plenty of players who can swing from end to end, as uh, Michael Voss said. Hunter is a special. It is a serious goal drought for the Sydney Swans. Well, they brought it back into play, okay, but then they were locked into a long kick. They're going to get away with a free kick here. Against CD, going to Jolly. Been a lot of free kicks, as we said, amongst the Ruckman so far in this game. Back to Canelli, who normally is so big in their forward thrust, but there's just no one to link with in any direct path tonight. Dempster. Again, it's just couples ahead. The Eagles just one-on-one -on -one with every Sydney player, except an extra midfielder who's just sitting behind to make it extra tough. And this is where they're struggling. They just can't get any fluency in their game, and they're forced to chip the ball around. Applet. Just keep being patient. They need to wrestle control back of this game. Wait for something to open. There was a gap in front of Hall, which he led into, and Hall frustrated. But Richards just didn't think he could hit him from there, and that was probably fair enough. Now there's... Barry Hall's that frustrated. He's telling the umpire the Eagles runners blocking his path. Leo Barry. And let's see how patient they are. As, as Michael said, maybe. Well, they haven't got much time, actually. They've only got 25 seconds. So... See what they can organise. Fosdyke, he's sick of it. He spots Jolly in the pocket. Goods was there as well. Kerr, as the Eagles have been prepared to do. He was happy to put himself at risk. And it paid off. It's only seconds remaining. The West Coast Eagles have dominated this first half. And they thoroughly deserve this advantage they're going to take into the second half. Well played, West Coast. They've kicked 10 goals, 2-62, 3-8, 26. Well, it's been eight games since one of these two teams, when they're playing each other, have gone into half-time with more than eight goals next to their name. So Looks very much like Goods is going to go all the way with Judd. So that's all Eagles at the moment. We all expect a Sydney fight back. The way it's just the way these two teams have played over the last few years. But maybe tonight is a night we'll have a blowout.
And the reigning champs doing the business at the moment. Everett against Kerr, both threw their bodies at the ball. Kerr has another go and gets it. Selwood. Fosdyke shrugs one tackle, forces it forward. Only as far as we're under to glass. <laughs> Set up and under. It's a good old fashioned rugby union kick, that one. That is the worst Eagles kick of the night. And Judd's got a free kick out of it. Adam Goods is going to go every step of the way with Chris Judd in this third quarter. Well, so far in round one, St Kilda have come from 14 points down and one. Collingwood came from 25 points down and one. Port Adelaide came from 34 points down and one. So that's been the trend. So all is not lost for Sydney. Well, it's been a long time between drinks as far as goals are concerned. They do have a great ability, Sydney, to be able to ignore the scoreboard and just play the game right out to the end. That's the ninth free kick in the ruck tonight. Five against CB and four have been against the Swans. McVeigh got cleaned up by Judd in the first half. He's now got the job on uh, Daniel Kerr. Doesn't get much easier. <laughs> I don't know if I feel good or bad about that. You can see McVeigh just got caught in the debris there. Now, Barry Hall. Now Lachlan's back in the square, but the Eagles have got two extra players back just for this move forward. McVeigh, not going to see much better when he looks up. Ablett's deep as well, not likely to be an option. Leads into the pocket though, there he is. Dempster unloads. Everett's trying to get there. O'Loughlin, CB with the first fist. O'Loughlin confronted by about four Eagles. Stenglein and Chick there to make sure it wasn't easy for him. You just don't see Sydney play like this, do you? Just bombing it into the forward line. Well, I think they've just got to be prepared to run and carry the ball with a bit of handball. They've only had 40 handballs in the first half. And they've got to stop that man as well. Well done by McVeigh. Now, opportunity for Barry Hall. Can he barge his way? Got through one. Well, almost got through two. Kept it alive. But Kerr, they've just willed it away. Rupanda got some good protection. And the Eagles are off and running again. Had to be a free kick. Rowan Jones's ball. Much to the frustration there of Rhino Kerr. What about that, eh? Kerr taking on Hall. It was a beauty, wasn't it? Nah, Kerr certainly didn't flinch. We're Rupanda playing a sensational game. Free kick going West Coast way to Mitchell Brown. Not a bad debut by this young lad. He's uh, now got uh, 11 disposals next to his name. Looks a ready-made player, got a good strong body. There's Staker, he's trying to get the goods, he's now made a play. But Staker is still trying to get the goods, and goods is going to Judd. Bit of a merry-go-round there at the moment. See a Neb Rising star nomination coming at Mitch Brown's way pretty quickly in season 2007. Oh, oh, well done. Again. Great stuff to Brown in the direction of Rowan Jones. Fisted away from Dempster. Now the chase is on. O'Keefe against Brett Jones. O'Keefe will not give up. Well played. Over to Ablett. Long handball to Canelli. Now can they produce some run and carry? O'Keefe has got Canelli riding shotgun. O'Keefe has a couple of bounces. Not sure what to do with it. Handball is long to Matthews. Left foot kick into the pocket to O'Loughlin. There you go. But long last. But some run and carry quarters. That's what you said through the half back line. They were prepared to run and carry, have a couple of bounces. That's one thing that we haven't seen much of Sydney. And uh, well done by O'Keefe, the half forward flanker. There he is there. He took possession on the half back flank, ran and carried through the centre square, and able to set up Matthews, who in turn, a little chip pass to Michael O'Loughlin. But he's still got to kick it. It's not the easiest of kicks. O'Loughlin's got one. It's a shank. Now Malcheski again in the direction of O'Loughlin. He's got to be about three. Matthews stayed down. Couldn't get the handball away. Chick. Picked up by Hall. Breaks one tackle. Unselfishly it kicks back to Malcheski, but he's too far out to score. going to do again all but three eagles inside their defensive 50 Malcheski kicks oh, did all the hard work Jude Bolton but couldn't hang on to the mark Kirk in the back free kick
Hamilton was bound to happen. Accidental, I know, but stand for him. So, Brett Kirk. This is Sydney's best opportunity for about 40 minutes. Just simply got to kick this goal. He's only 35 out. Slight angle. A must-kick goal. Well, well, that's start the ball rolling, boys. Well, well they, they needed to kick it. It was a captain's goal in many ways because to be able to steady the ship there, you've got uh, Sydney who have kicked two, three from set shots now, three, three, and West Coast have kicked six straight. You've just got to kick these goals. It keeps you in the game. Forty-five minutes between goals for Sydney and the 60,000 strong crowd, which is predominantly red and white, they are stunned. Fifteen possessions for Judd, five for Goods. They're still going at each other. Maybe this is going to give some momentum over the Swans. Ablett, a lovely one as he normally thrives on the contact, but he's gone down. He's gone up straight away. He'd expect nothing less. Jones has got a problem. He got it out of bounds there. Running. He's shaken up Michael O'Loughlin. Waters got up. Yeah, Waters is tough, strong body, and about uh, 12 years younger. You know what I like about this? He's hurt, and he gets up. And ran past that lock and gave him a tap on the head. <laughs> I mean, that's fantastic. Staker and Stengline had to sort it out amongst themselves initially. Tried taking a mark from that ball. Bottom for a moment. I thought he was going to go for another one of those. Lovely flies, but he couldn't take it. This is Hearn, another one of the impressive band of young eagles for Rowan Jones. He's got Rosa. He needs him now. Under pressure, Rosa smothered. Richards, well done. Trying to get some involvement from the crowd. They're willing to cheer anything. This one's do at the moment. It's positive. They're going to have to nip away at this mm. slowly over get, this half. Get to within a range, perhaps by three-quarter time. Just a great hit there, boy. Both players committed at the ball. This is Canelli, and it is opening up a fraction for the Swans, sharing it with O'Keefe. And now McVeigh's kick was designed for Bolton, playing almost as a key forward here. Got Buchanan away, he's on his wrong side. Had time though, Buchanan must do something with it. Well, oh, will the result be there? No, it won't. Well done by Glass and Wipanda. Could have been a three against all, but he keeps on going. Davis knows how to kick it from there. We know that only too well. We know that only too well, Nick Davis, when he gets an opportunity in that pocket. Buchanan should have had a shot for goal. Very, very hard conscious. Classy, no. And Nick. frustration coming to the boil. He got his hand pass out. That play was once again set up by O'Keefe in the half-back line and ran down and carried the ball and set up that play again. O'Keefe has been very important to the Sydney Swans in this last five minutes. Waters wants a piece of Hall at the moment. He wants to go on with it with Barry Hall. And now Waters has been set off under the blood rule. That came not from an incident there. That came from when he clashed with O'Loughlin. Barry Hall just loving the physical challenge of this game. Crowd coming back into it. Yeah. Two goals that they've got, Sydney. Run and carry off the half-back line. i tell you what, he's a beauty boat Waters too, isn't he? He's animated, uh, the big bastard. <laughs> Have a look at him. He's trying to get the crowd going. He's getting into the opposition. Trying to get a free off Waters, I think, there too. <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna take a backward step both those guys so we're underway again and the game starts to hot up as we expected it might but the eagles here have possession as stingline dished it out to selwood here's judd good tackle by buchanan to selwood back to stingline forced to kick hurriedly getting back as richards Lynch tackled him, but Richards stood up in the tackle and did well. Run and carry off half back again. Buchanan, quick handle to Malcheski. Few players being put down off the ball too. Hall comes into it, lost it, got it again. Back to Buchanan. Nowhere to go. Great tackle, Staker. It's a throw. It is a throw. Let it go. Carries run down. Now Dempster over the top of it. Bang. 
Bang, in goes the West Coast Eagles player and Stengline. Good stuff, bounce at Tolstra Stadium and lynches her. Might have got his nose rearranged there. Courtesy of the Sharon, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the umpire caught him amongst the wake of the players there. Told him to watch out. Buchanan said watch out to Jones. Jones concentrated on the ball as the Eagles have done tonight. Stengline gets it going. This is Rosa. And there's space in front of Lynch. And it was pretty elementary for the Eagles there. Teddy Richards really struggling tonight in the one-on-one -on -one contest. That was a good mark by Rosa and then to play it on quickly. Just go back a little bit and Buchanan, instead of going for the footy, he lifted his eyes off the ball and was more intent on hitting an Eagles player. And we've seen this counter-attack all night, haven't we, from the Eagles, really. When they've been able to break, it's been total contrast to the other end. Got a bit of clarity on his face too. Now the umpire let him kick, he's going to let him kick even though he's got blood coming from his nose. Quentin Lynch, steadying influence for the Eagles if he can go. You can tell from the response from the crowd. He's missed. 64 plays, 38. Some hope for this big crowd at the Telstra Stadium in Sydney. Every bone in Michael O'Loughlin's body is aching at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think he wants the ball to come near him. Dempster as the Swans continue to run. Trying to get back into the game. Kurt to Hall. Well done, Glass. Look out. Look out. Man. Advantage. West Coast Eagles free kick. Daniel Kerr usually uses it perfectly. Pops one over the top. Pops one from O'Keefe at the same time. Advantage paid. Brett Jones. Intercepted by Malczewski. Swans on the rebound. Malczewski hasn't got a lot to kick to. Carries the ball. Now goes into the pocket for Duke Bolton. Gee, Michael O'Loughlin's been three there for 30 seconds. Melcheski just didn't have the vision to see him. He went for the longer option. Just needs to... Oh, oh. shocking kick from Jude Bolton. That's a shocker. And the Eagles are away. Can they make him pay? Rowan Jones against Canelli got pushed. Jude Bolton needed to take the responsibility of kicking the goal on. Jude Bolton has played a lot of the night across half four. Unusual. Yeah, and I... He's got to get in the midfield. That's where his strength is. His strength is in tight. He's just only had six touches. Yeah. He, you need to get the ball in his hands. He's most effective. Is their best clearance player last year. They need to get him in the in the hurly burly. Comes unstuck to the Swans defence. Lynch unable to capitalise. Use his strengths, which well, is in tight. Why would he be playing forward? Is it just as a matchups in the middle? Uh, given the fact that Kerr and Judd. Um, Stengline are in there. Sydney Swans will perhaps want to have their matchups, and therefore they're more than content to have Bolton starting at half forward, coming in off the square. This is Bolton Craig. Good kick, right. taken by Canelli. The Hall's on. The leads on from Hall, and he gets there, and he's within range. Settle down, kick a goal. If he puts it through, it's three goals to none in this third quarter, and the crowd will come right into it. Adam Goods has given him very little in this game, just the five disposals to this stage. So Barry Hall will be kicking from about 52 metres out. It's within his range. Started it right, and that's where it's going to stay. And Rossi, he still has a valuable role to play for this team tonight. We know Adam Goods is a brilliant player with the ball in his hands and he can win 25 possessions and, and win the game off his own boot. But now what he has to be able to do is nullify Judd's influence on the game at the same time so he can play a critical role for the team tonight. Ambitious kick in, wasn't it? And he got it to his man, Braun. But now the Eagles just falling out a little bit across half forward, something we've said constantly about the Swans. He's trying really hard, Barry Hall. He got a cross half back there to get a fist on that. But you can see Goods very conscious of Judd. Just five possessions as we mentioned for Adam Goods. He's trying to get to Judd but Staker has been persistent. Judd's got 17. So CB and Jolly and cuddle each other again. Kirk starting to find it but his kicking has let him down tonight. Not that it's a real strength but uh, he's had a number of ineffective kicks. Selwood to half forward. 
Now they can go again. Canell's really lifted the rating in this quarter. That time he didn't have a lot of options and you can see the result. So the margin is 26. You go, you go, you go. You're right, you're right, right. Stay on this side. Two as you cross the line, play on. Time up. So Selwood. Move it on. Play on. It's told to go. So he kicks to a contest on the wing. CB caught behind. No mark. Touched. Oh, oh, Another bounce. Right on, Brett. Thank you. Touched in front by Jolly. The ball up clearances tonight. Sydney 11, West Coast 4. Prentice's run down. Kirk squeezed it out, but not far. Intensity's lifted by Sydney. Eight inside 50s to three to the Eagles in this quarter. I reckon, Vossi, th this is their moment. The next five or six minutes, if they can get another goal, Sydney, it's game on. If not, well, it'd be very hard to see them pegging the Eagles back in that last quarter. The West Coast are very fit side, so they'll run out the game well. But you're right, the next 10 minutes is going to be very important. The next goal is going to say a lot about this game. Just off the ball to the right, we've got one-on-one -on -one contest. So if Swans get it in there, there's no spare men for the Eagles. Not yet, anyway. Kirk's going to be the one that inserts them inside 50. No, sharing it around instead. Melchesi, will he hit up the target? Richards. Keeps down there, Vogels. It is Vogels. Nine inside 50s to three. While there's this lapse in play, there are players running to the interchange. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> they haven't got enough to cover them. We've got about 12 go for a break, and they haven't got 12 to come on. It's amazing. Just the emotion of the game. Obviously, a lot of emotion by West Coast coming into this look at, match. Look at that. It's like Bergstrand. And you just wonder whether that emotion's been spent in that first half because certainly Sydney coming back. Big kick for Vogels, big result. That's the goal we're talking about, Wolsey. Now it is certainly game on. Should have known this would have happened. <laughs> so Sydney starts to claw its way back. Judd sits down for a break. So does Kirk. So does Goods. It's back to 20 points of difference. Sydney at one stage early in this third term trail by 37. It's a free oh, kick. Luke Ablett. Now you've got to watch his head when you go and attack him. So Ablett out wide. Good kick. Well done by Matthews to create some space. Space is there now. Hall leads into it. So does Davis. Hall's got it. Oh. No, he has it. Well done, Weir Punda. Just managed to get the vital hand onto it. Oh, it's a big play from David Weir Punda because Hall was within range. I watched Hall, and he had three or four leads. He was getting blocked left, right and centre, but he persisted with his leading, and then he did everything right, but uh, spilt it at the end. Sydney desperately trying to get Wirrapunda back on the last line of defence to take him out of the game. Braun and Matthews and Seavey. Advantage pay, the Swans stopped, the Eagles didn't. Half forward, this is Hunter. Looks up, he's got Brown and he's got Lynch. Goes for Lynch, he's got the yard on Barry, well played. It always looks a bit awkward, but he, he hangs on. Well, the big Q stick distance, not a problem for him. What do you call him? Q. Quinton. The, Q, Q, the Q, Q stick. The Q stick. Q stick. Billions. <laughs> well, he's talking up the Q at the moment. You've been listening to Rexy for too long, Rob. <laughs> he's got the mitt and thrown that away. 
65 goals last year, we mentioned. It was a revelation, one they needed. And so far tonight, one goal, three. And a lot of shots from tight angles like this one. It's going to work back, but not far enough. And the Swans absolutely committed to getting it through from behind. They can't afford to give away a goal just as much as the Eagles would love one before three-quarter time. Margin 21. Gian mistake's going to be costly now. So the Swans, deep in defence. Malcheski, not sure what to do with it. This is back to Ablett and says, you have a kick. He does just that and he finds Craig Bolton. Still inside defensive 50. Craig Bolton, All-Australian last year. Missed only one game in four seasons. Like a lot of his Sydney teammates, very resilient. Done this well. They freed up Richard down on the far wing. And he can go, Richards. The crowd's chasing him down. Richards has got plenty of time to steady and do something with it. He kicks it in the middle to Dempster, who gets it over to Jude Bolton. Running out wide is Malcheski. Nice build-up coming here for Sydney. Malcheski drills it into the pocket, looking for Vogels. Gets there on the first bounce. Handballs to Hall. Short one. Well played. And McVeigh is within range just to 15 metres. And this is a big kick as we near three-quarter time. Well, the difference between Sydney first half and the third quarter has been the fact that they're prepared to run. They're running and carrying the ball and they're being proactive against their West Coast opponents, which is catching them napping at the moment. Jared McVeigh, big kick coming up. He's only 30 metres out. And he's missed, much to the relief of West Coast Eagles fans. Oh. Rapunda brings it in. Now it misses and misses, and that is a bad miss. Brett Jones in the back pocket. Sydney 6-10, so their kicking has been very costly tonight. The Eagles 10-6. Same number of scoring shots, obviously. The Eagles lead by 20. <laughs> you were a school teacher at one stage, weren't you, Wilson? I was. Did you teach maths? I did, yes. Wouldn't it have he been strict? Yeah. Did you give the cane much? Oh, occasionally. <laughs> Jim Vossi looked very quickly around then, didn't he? <laughs> From behind, you see, he's trying to get it to Judd. He hasn't had it for a while. Fosdyke. Oh, Matthew somehow. Strict brawl of it. Force of Vogels. He's having an influence. Goods. Togger, stand his ground. Selwood was super committed. Jones froze for a moment, but woke up just at the right time. Selwood goes looking for Lacroix. Abbott's been good in this quarter. They're all digging deep, the Swans, through the midfield. O'Keefe's been a real leader for them. Gets it in long and quick. Goods won't get there. Davis from behind. Could have given away the free. He didn't. Again, Selwood's been terrific. Working it through. Rosa with Punda. They're putting the foot down again. It's not over yet, though. On the wing. De uh, it's uh, Teddy Richards. Wanted to go right, then left. Spider's there for him. Now Spider with the Shepherd. Teddy Richards, what will he do? As long as he can. Vogels. Good. This is Phillips. The Eagles alive. Vogels. Still. Anyone's ball. Graham's turn to go. Who'll be next? Through the legs, Fosdyke almost conjured something. Eventually a bounce. This is the sort of footy we were waiting to see tonight. It's been a long time in coming. The pressure building on everyone. Nothing Andrew Embley can do, but watch. He looks a bit nervous there too at the same time, but that's the intensity we've seen these two teams play for such a long time. Great tap by Everett to Kurt. Can he find some space? No. Forced to get it to Buchanan. Had to get it out, Buchanan. Allowed himself to be wrapped up, just had to get the ball out, keep it alive in that dangerous area. Good tackle by Judd. Everett the tap again. Judd will be happy to see it over the line. 14-4 inside 50s in Sydney's favour. Three goals to nil for the quarter. Hall having a breather. Selwood. Little hit for the boundary line. He puts it out on the full. So a chance here for the Swans with 30 seconds left on the clock. All of a sudden we're seeing West Coast under the pump. 
just due to the fact that Sydney Swans have lifted their intensity level and really making them work hard now. Dempster was in a tricky situation because he couldn't get enough penetration on the kick to put it in a dangerous spot, so they're retreating and trying to set it up. It's like in basketball, looking for one last shot before the buzzer. Vogel's edged out of this contest. Kerr was there, but it's not dead yet. That was Phillips just buzzing around. Got it behind on the board, but they needed a goal. It's down to 19, though, and they've achieved what we said they needed to set out to achieve, Michael, which was just to get within some sort of range. They had to nip away at this at the lead that West Coast had at half time, and they've done it beautifully. And they'll go in in reachable distance to West Coast Eagles. But they've had a fantastic, fantastic quarter. The Sydney Swans have got much more runoff half pack. O'Keefe came into the game in that quarter, linking through the middle of the ground. Very, very important. So 19 points is the handy lead for West Coast, but Rob, it's not insurmountable. No, it's not. 17-point uh, win for that quarter for the Sydney Swans, and as you say, there's only 19 points between them at the moment, and uh, there are definite signs there that Sydney have got more run, and uh, they're up and about. A couple of costly misses towards the end of that quarter by Sydney, and they could have been even closer, so this game well and truly alive. Here's the grand final rematch headed for a dramatic conclusion. <laughs> we'll find out after the break. Swans significantly had uh, key players like Barry Hall, O'Loughlin and O'Keefe coming through the interchange. What's ahead for the last quarter? About to find out. Swans with the first crack at it. Bolton's down there. Numbers with the Eagles with Punda. He's busy. That's a little dangerous. Opportunity missed for O'Loughlin. Glass very strong bodied. So is Chick and so is with Punda. And the Eagles teaming well. Staker has to go. Good pressure. And that is not quite out yet now. David Wirraponda just played a, a magnificent game, a mopping up around the back in the back line, twice there, received handballs to uh, set up and then put the ball to advantage going forward. 16 possessions and 9 handball receives for Wirraponda. That's Melcheski giving O'Loughlin the chance, it'll take his best manoeuvre, couldn't come up with one. He's not out of the contest though, Matthews and Chick. Through a very successful period at the Brisbane Lions, we're a punter was the hardest player we could get. We just couldn't contain when we played West Coast. He just would sweep back there all the time. Great sight for the AFL, 62,000 people here. And Andrew Demetrio watching from home tonight while changing nappies. He said he was going to watch this big game. The Eagles 66, Sydney 47. He would be very pleased with the numbers here and the big crowd would love a grandstand finish. Kerr, the Eagles, not it. Well, Kenja, can he clear it? Yes, he can. For Selwood, who's been terrific as well. He's played a key game, Selwood. In many ways, he's he's got in the way of a lot of Sydney Swans forward thrusts, which has stopped their flow. Lynch to the hard-running Stenglein. He's got it on centre wing. Brett Jones provides the lead. Was he pushed? No, said the umpire. Throw it in. No, I don't think so, Adam. You just throw it. Interesting stage of the game, uh, Vossi. Do you free up Adam Goods? And they've got to win the game, Sydney. He's only had the five disposals, and he's very intent on running with Judd at the moment, but Paul Roos might have to just release him. Should have been a free kick to Hunter as the Swans work it to the wing. Slightly in there, attacking half of the ground. And another throw in. Sometimes when the game's not going for you, it's good to have somebody as a starting point. And at the moment, he's trying to get the jug. CB dishes to Judd. But he's still got to be proactive. Long kick into space. Richards backed himself again. And it paid handsome dividends. As he creates some run, Canelli. Good kick to Bolton. Nice build up here from Sydney. Hall provides the short lead. Bolton ignores him and goes long to the hot spot. O'Loughlin's there. So is Goods, who stayed down. Goods picks it up. Goods snaps. Goods goals! Well, we said he needed to be proactive. He got forward, found some space, steady, and kicked the goal. When you're near that area of, the, area of the ground, you have to put pressure on your opponent. Doesn't matter whether it's Judd, 
Doesn't matter whether it's somebody else. Stenglein, Selwood, things just starting to fall, not fall apart for the Eagles, but just look a little more ragged around the edges. Well done, mate. Great decision. Good work. Yeah, top decision. It's always a grind. <laughs> it's always a grind when you play the Swans. And they've been hitting back hard. The Eagles would have expended a lot of energy because they played a real running game early on. Judd breaking the shackles for them here. They've still got some run in their legs, the Eagles. Rosa takes it, had Graham on, went longer instead towards full forward. Hunter so often pops up at the right moment. Not this time, it's Bolton. Swans have got things covered just for the minute. Kennelly, he's got Kirk on or he can switch play. They've been doing it suddenly. Things are opening up for the Swans. Suddenly Adam Goods is getting a feel for the footy. Suddenly this game has come alive. Through the middle, it's Fosdyke. Just puts the pause button on for a moment. Hall is deep. But he's pretty much got too many eagles to contend with. So Fosdyke forced just a blast. He tried to adjust the kick at the last moment as Jolly suddenly became an option. Good to see a Ruckman able to uh, handle the football below his knees. He's going to go for Hall instead. So Lachlan at the back won't quite get there. Now, Daniel Chick means business, just shoves Phillips out of the road, but Ablett was there to lend support. Matthews, they're going backwards, and they're happy to get it over and out. Jude Bolton still playing deep in the forward line on uh, David Wirrapunda. Dragging Wirrapunda back to the goal square. CB the tap. Shark by Kerr. Had a fresh airy. Staker out on the full. Free kick to Sydney. As you said, Hara, they are becoming a bit ragged, West Coast. The reigning champs lead by 13. Malcheski short to Hall. Paddled in the middle of the ground. Sydney trying to create the space on the open side of the ground. Had a great night, Daniel Kerr. Been quiet in this last turn. Hall's kick finds O'Loughlin. He's got Matthews lurking in the pocket. He's ignored. And Lachlan chips patiently to yeah. Hall, and he's not without a chance here. Rowan Jones. He's going to play on Hall. He's run down from behind. Oh, oh. Kick went straight to Malcheski. He just banged it inside 50. The pack fly. Wonderful mark taken by Kerr. Their leaders have just taken on extra responsibility, haven't they? Daniel Kerr has gone right back into the back line there to help out, Michael. You have to congratulate them the way that they've gone about it. Their leaders needed to stand up. We knew there was going to be more onus put on Judd and Kerr at the start of the game, and they've duly delivered. Here he is again, Kerr, in front for Judd. Now, tight call for the umpire, but the mark paid. Just pokes at Judd. It's OK, though. So good ball movement here for West Coast. They lead by 13. They're hanging on at the moment. Waters creating an option further afield, but Jones going back. Hearn, let's fly. Had CB in mind. He almost willed him to take the mark. That was a 60-metre pass. Don't worry about that. Hearn knows he can thump the ball long. He drove that hard and long to the advantage of CB, who was behind his opponent. That was an absolute ripper kick. The power of the kick. And carried. It went over the Sydney Swans player, which gave him a great opportunity to have it, a CB, a great opportunity to be able to jump at the ball. It was a lovely kick. Kicked 11 goals, five last year, Mark CB. He's been able to pop up every now and then with a few bags of goals. That is a big kick and a great result. It's a weapon, isn't it? If you can kick that ball an extra couple of metres, it makes it difficult for the opposition. Well, absolutely. And uh, if you've got a player who can do that, you handball it to him at every opportunity. The 
Final rub down before the last onslaught from Chris Judd. His team is in front by 19 points. Can the Eagles hang on? CB, the last goal kicker, puts West Coast back inside 50. Graham went with a one hand and paid the price. Kirk, for disposal number 24. Clever kick to the wing and it's marked by Canelli. So a long way to go in this game. As Canelli switches to Ted Richards. Now Leo Barry gives it off to Dempster. He runs straight down the middle and kicks it long to O'Loughlin, but he's got a couple to beat again. O'Loughlin in the pocket. Kept it alive somehow. Matthews is in there. So is Chick. And we'll have a bounce. Just another example. Braun coming back with the flight of the ball. Just got a hand on it to help his West Coast Eagles defender. And we've seen Kerr get back there. And they have sacrificed for their teammates, particularly well, West Coast. Armstrong went heavily to ground. No free kick now. Swans are appealing strongly here. Ball up the result. You've got it right. Nearly at the halfway stage of this last quarter. Here's that example you were talking about, Rob. Yeah, and, uh, you know, one of the smallest players on the ground, but great courage. Volsdijk, Kerr. Again, they're all appealing. I reckon the umpire might ping him here. Yep. My love! My love! You dive got in Italy, you've got to get it out! Stay there. Daniel Kerr. Top possession winner for the Eagles. Coming in for number 23. He's had eight kicks and 14 handballs. His ninth kick is a smooth one. Out to half back. Stenglein, a good lead. Good from Jones as well. Pritis better watch out. He couldn't see behind him. Holding the ball. Swans can launch another attack. They do it quickly. The impressive Melcheski. Can he hit a target? Yes. It's Bolton on the lead against Wipunda. I think he's gone back there to Wipunda to make sure that Wipunda doesn't cause any more damage. And again, mass interchange while there's this stoppage in play. Gee, that's a good run down from behind. And it is going to give Sydney the opportunity to get right back in the game if Jude Bolton can put it through. So Jude Bolton cast in the role of a forward here. Just kicked the 12 goals last year, but he was relatively accurate. Needs to be spot on here. Looks good off the boot. It's close. It looked good, but it wasn't. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Hutto. <laughs> well, it's cost them tonight, hasn't it, really? In the end, you look at the board. Seven goals, 13 to 11-7. Well, did you think there's been a slight change of change of philosophy from John Worsfold normally he likes to play on that one-on-one -on -one brand and stay yeah. up the field with his direct opponent but where we're seeing West Coast at the moment there's John Worsfold on screen they're pushing back large in numbers yep they did it in last year's grand final they, Bossy. They, they hadn't done it for about I reckon four years and in last year's grand final he opted to have the extra player back and that's something which you know, I think when you've got the class of O'Loughlin and Hall up forward you need to do oh. that Kerr's off and running. Chips to Rosa. Did well to trap it. Eagles go inside 50. Great kick. And Armstrong on the second bite. Gee, Daniel Here Kerr's comes. played an important last two yeah, or three yeah, minutes. But he did, but the first one was back here. Well, he's now up to 25 possessions. But just smart ball use well, coming through. Tipped him to win the Brownlow this year. Looks in a bit of pain there, Daniel Kerr. Just from the hard work. As Brett Jones winds up. Ball still in play. And Canelli will take it away for Sydney. Buchanan. Back to Canelli. Not a lot to go to. Just gets rid of it in the nick of time. Kirk. He finds Matthews. Short to the wing. And O'Keefe. Barry Hall surrounded by four Eagles. And he's telling them to get it down to move it quickly because he's going to have more than four around him soon. Three straight kicks the difference. Eight minutes left in the match. Hall tries to do it all himself. Over to Fosdyke. Broke the tackle. Good tackle by Prittis. Gets one back. And it's a free kick West Coast way.
Here's Braun. Over to Waters. And his kick's good as it finds Matt Rosa. Chris Judd back on. There's Daniel Kerr. When he came off earlier, he bent over. He was absolutely stuffed. He has run his butt off tonight. Christian has run 80 metres to uh, get over to that contest. And, yeah, they're spending a lot. And now he could put the finishing touches on here. Judd to full forward. McCraw from behind and Bolton from in front. Drags it down. There's still time for Sydney, but they can't afford to make a mistake. They can't concede another goal. They need to get things moving now. The Eagles have just been able to steady in this last quarter. It looked like a tide that it well and truly turned. But they've hung on. They've been superb, West Coast. And they're still going now. Still going strong, in fact. But it's a lie for the Swans through O'Keefe. Ablett, nothing to really go to. And gave the Eagles a big chance through the middle. No free there with Prittis and Rosa. And Judd oh. keeps on keeping on. Rosa to Prittis. Crowds at the back down there with Armstrong, but again it's Bolton. So they're repelling it from defence. In fact, they've had a lot more inside 50s for the match. I'll show you just how many in a moment. But finding that path to goal has been very elusive. Well, Judd's averaged 29 disposals in his last five games against Sydney. He's up to 26 now as uh, Sydney go deep. They're just blazing away as Adam Goods. Sydney's kicking overall has been... If you'd give their field kicking 6 out of 10 tonight, Eagles be 9 out of 10. Prittis squeeze the kick out and the mark's taken by Rowan Jones and he in turn goes to a man who's really impressed tonight in Mitchell Brown. Here goes the cue stick. He's got it. Too far out to score. Well the Swans need three goals in five and a half minutes and the ball is in the hands of Quentin Lynch. A point would be handy here. It's a driving kick right into the goal square. Oh, Graham Flute couldn't take the mark. Has another crack at it, and that is a handy point. Well, we wanted an answer before the game about how West Coast were going to respond off the back of controversy over the whole preseason, really. I think we've got our answer. <laughs> Been stunning, really. The West Coast Eagles just shown how much depth they've got, apart from... Obviously, the will that they've put on display tonight. Bolton trying to organise things off half back. Frustration showing. The Eagles just luring them into the pattern of play they want. And it's worked for them so well tonight. Across half, half back, the Eagles have just had a wealth of numbers. And, it's a and that wall. shot there shows the wall that he's facing. Hard to penetrate. Hard but not impossible. O'Keefe. O'Loughlin has not been able to really do much at all. And again, it's with Punda and Jones and the Eagles ready to go. And some Swans fans, I reckon, just, just starting to head toward the turnstiles. They still have turnstiles? <laughs> Good point. Barcodes. To, to the wing. Rose's handball went straight to Goods, who's had a quiet night by his lofty standards. Rosa once again inside 50. The mark's taken by Canelli. To Everett. How have you seen Everett's game, Rob? Uh, I give Peter Everett a 4 out of 10 on what I've seen tonight. I'm a little bit disappointed that he's not fitter than, uh, than what he's shown. He's had a bit, you know, six months to get himself right for this one. Free kick going to McVeigh. Missed a couple of shots for goal. That uh, would have been very handy. Gave away an undisciplined 50 metre. That cost them a goal. Long kick by Dempster. It's a goal. That's a thumping kick. Well, those that were just heading for the turnstiles, they're hitting the roll <laughs> and they're turning around and coming back. Well done. Little bloke holds his ground against two men.
And that is an amazing stat there. Inside 50s quarter by quarter. And you can see that Sydney have had so many more inside 50 entries. But they haven't been uh, quick. Certainly not in the first half. Took the ball in too slowly. Eagles had numbers back and they were able to run it out with ease. Been better in the second half though, the Swans. History says the Swans will keep on coming. Chris Judd has other ideas, definite other ideas. And he's got some teammates too, Michael Braun. Only 14 possessions tonight. Barry Hall on the bench, so the Swans almost, well you'd think almost conceding they can't win without Barry Hall out there. Rosa. Back for Braun, back for Rosa. Eagles in no hurry, really. If they can just hold on to the ball, they won't lose. Big Jamie Graham. Chris Judd in picture there. Eight oh, touches okay, in please. this all-important final me. quarter. Daniel Kerr, six. So boundary up by there. The ruling that it was touched. And then must have bobbled up and gone over the boundary. Adam Goods has gone into the forward line. McVeigh now on Judd. This will be his ninth touch. Just having crucial touches, isn't he? Oh, yeah, well, there's a gun. There's his tenth for the quarter. Time and time again. He's made sure there's been no Sydney Avalanche. Is he the best, Fossey, you think? Oh, he's the best in the competition, absolutely. I mean, when Jonathan Brown's up and going, we could compare him, but I mean, Brownie hasn't played enough over the last couple of years for us to compare properly but it's Shannon Hearn there turning it over so the Swans can run again and it's Bolton he looks up Eagles still have lots of numbers back Goods can he get free here yes he can he's got to do something with it there's the fumble Goods sharing it around McVeigh missed one earlier handles this time Phillips they're still alive they are still alive <laughs> Goods going into the forward line. I reckon Paul Ruse knew that to give themselves a chance to win the game with only a few minutes left, release Goods from the jug tag, put him up in that forward line. We can see the pace of the big fella there, and it certainly put the Swans back in a winning position. Eagles by seven. How costly might that rush behind be? Perry, how good a Sydney though? I mean, they've been played outplayed for most of the night, you would say, and here they are in the final minutes of the game. Back to Bolton! Advantage, advantage paid. McVeigh to Canelli. He's just going to pump it long. Goods attacks the football. Couldn't take the chess mark. Crucial spoil of the death. Not sure who it was. Kerr backs himself. Oh, the head. Free kick. Is it against oh, Kerr? Oh, no, too, high. too high. You fended him off in the face. Oh, it's going to shit this way. Right, fended him off in the face. But I thought Kerr was caught too high. All right, he pushed him off in the face. But he's given it for fending he off. And seven. Now Phillips, who's only about five foot, <laughs> can make it a one point ball game. Oh, well, that's fair enough, I guess, from that angle. It's a big kick for the young man. You remember this. So Simon Phillips playing his fifth game of AFL football. He's kicked one career goal. 174 centimetres tall is the little man. Barry to make it a one-point ball game. He's done oh, it's a point the difference! <laughs> Can you believe it? You can believe it, Corners. It's Sydney versus West Coast. They don't play any other way. She, I suppose he did put the forearm up, but you've got to also give credit to the little bloke for just standing his ground. He knew he'd get hit, did Simon Phillips. He got hit all right, but he's also kicked a goal, and that's all that matters. Sydney have got a forward line full of Eagles players. John Warsfold has dropped numbers back. On mass, they're all running back there now. They are surging back. The Swans are surging on the scoreboard. The crowd, you can hear them. Can they get it out of the middle? O'Keefe can. Hammers it forward. Hall's going to come from the side. Glass was wonderful, but it's still alive. McVeigh. Oh, Kerr, what a lunge! What a lunch. Daniel Kerr has been magnificent. Magnificent.
amazing chase, magnificent tackle. McVeigh asleep. Got to realise that they're going to hit you hard. He took four or five steps. You can only take two in that situation. Matt's saving tackles, those. Unbelievable effort. And Judd has come off the ground. He come off limping. A long ball to the wing. Hunter's in there. Just be happy to hold it up. And ice the clock. Can't be much time left. There is nobody in the Eagles forward half. There's Judd. And there's Judd limping away. I don't know whether he's cramped or he's done something else. One point ball game. Eagles in front. Kerr in there again. Another bounce. Jolly against CB. Jolly, Mr. Swipe, Rowan Jones. To half four, Dempster spilt the beans. It was tough. No one in, uh, no one in the Eagles forward 50. If the ball gets kicked there, it'll be an absolute sprint. CB tapped, went straight to Kirk. Kicks in the direction of Hall against Glass. Good use of the body by Glass. Handballs to Rosa, to Prinis, just banged it onto the boot. Underneath it is Jolly, the double fish, shark by Kerr. Stood up, good handball under pressure to Braun. He collided with Fosdyke, Rosa's in there. Fosdyke underneath it, will have another bounce. Could it be another one-point victory to the Eagles? Oh, surely there must be only a handful of seconds left. We've got no idea what the clock says, the countdown clock says. It's 28, ticked over now. Quinton Lynch gone to uh, full back. Braun. Kirk, was it a free? No. Umpire put the whistle away there. Lots of swans there. They just can't escape. The congestion, unbelievable. Who's going to break the shackles? Rose have got it all the way. It's over. Wow. Just another chapter in this incredible rivalry between the West Coast Eagles and the Sydney Swans. An unbelievable summer has produced an amazing effort of will. Another extraordinary match between these two champion teams. West Coast Eagles 74, defeating the Sydney Swans who came home with a wet sail 73. One point the difference. Swans looked out of it with five minutes to go, but just the character of that team, never say die. But the West Coast Eagles held on to win by a point. Davis was the only multiple goal scorer for Sydney. Hunter, Judd and Seabee were the multiple goal scorers for the reigning champs.